Hello guys, welcome to the channel the MSN Hacker. Today I'm going to solve the box Lee and you from Try Hack Me. It, it is an error war uh, themed box. So before getting into the walkthrough, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Okay, I am in the site Try Hack Me and open the room this Lee and you. It's a kind of a beginner challenge. So I'm solving this box in Parrot OS. So you can use any Linux distro, Kali, or Ubuntu, or anyone. Uh, I'm gonna solve tax one by one. Okay, so I have already deployed the machine. So let's run a nmap scan. And a go scan. Okay, first let's run a nmap scan to do that. Just type sudo and map dash s vt numbered version dash sc to run default scripts and the machine's ip so just run the scan you okay, no need for me to run it as i've already done it just, i'm gonna show you the output okay there are four ports open ftp ssh http and rcp bind so then in this rcp bind so there is no nfs here so let's start with this enumeration with this http port okay i'm going to run a gobuster scan to do that just type gobuster dar dash u for url let's copy and paste the ip i'm going to use a directory list 2.3 small so it's presented user say so word list dawaster directory list 2.3 small dot text and use extension php okay good then trace around 100 and time out of around 50 seconds dash dash time out 50 seconds okay, let's start the scan okay while it is running in the background i'm going to open the site in the uh, browser okay there is some text on this tv so arrow so i've already <laughs> Watched it a few seasons, it's not that good. Yeah, let me view page source. There is nothing hidden in here. Okay, let's check if Gobuster found something. Okay, Gobuster found a directory slash island let's visit it oh no don't talk i wasn't expecting you at this moment but there's some sort of message and the code word is okay let's view page source okay, the code word is vigilante okay it's some sort of crates Either maybe use a name or password to some place. You can just make a text file to store this findings also. But so for the for this video, I'm not gonna do that. Let's stop the scan and again let's run Gobuster scan inside this island directory. I'm going to use same word list. Just change the directory to Iceland. So you can always use Dorbuster, it will just scan in recursive mode. Gobuster doesn't scan in recursive mode. Okay, let's check if it's find some extensions or not. Okay, the Gobuster again found another directory, that's 20, uh, 2100. Okay, I think it's one of the question. So Okay, let's go to that web directory. Again, there's a, a video on the arrow. So 
so you can avail your thought ticket uh, but how okay let's again run the uh, directory scan with go master but now this now we will use extension this ticket so it's what we get from this source code you can avail your ticket here but how okay there is dot ticket it means it's kind of pour into our extension okay what was directory 2100 okay let's run the scan we go also found another file this green underscore arrow dot ticket let's view what is it okay this is just a token to get into green uh, game ship okay it kind of look like password then so i'm going to this sidecar cyber safe so cyber safe github so it contains a bunch of uh, scripts that will decode most of the uh, encoded files okay, let's check uh, from base 64 If not a base 64 okay i tried all these base formats and this base 58 works for me so actually the password are decoded in base 58 format so i think it's the ftp password okay let's login inside the ftp so from the iron island directory we got our username it's vigilante and so after decoding this uh, text we got our password also okay, let's use ftp Okay, username is vigilante okay, password is bang has and ts3 h 0 d let's check if it's work or not okay we are successfully logged inside the ftp let's check what are in the directory okay there are three uh, images let's uh, download all of them in our local machine to do that just type mget and star so it is a wildcard command it will download all the files in the current directory okay I successfully downloaded all the file in the directory let's check what else here is in the ftp server Okay, we can uh, kind of open the root directory also. Okay, there are two users, so Slade and Vigilante. So it may come handy later in uh, during our logging in SSH session. Let's exit the FTP. So there are three images but let's open them okay i will use this um okay there's a picture of slade wilson And there is a boat and the second i cannot open the second file just leave me alone 
I think it's some sort of corrupted. Okay, let's uh, check it with except to okay, there's a error file format error. So to fix it, just first let's open it with the hex editor. So now we can find where the error is. So actually there is no header tag. So if there was if it was a image, there should be a JPEG or PNG in this beginning section here where I have highlighted. So there is no any image header file. Okay, let's Google for uh, this PNG header. The PNG header hacks. Okay, this one is not for PNG. Let's source the one correct one for PNG. Okay. I think it's okay. It's the correct hex file of uh, PNG image. With so there is a header also present. So I'm going to change this uh, initial bytes to make it look like this. So I zoomed it into the the Google search image. Okay, let's. Change it. Okay, few beginning bytes will do eighty nine fifty O E O seven zero D zero A one a okay okay this highlighted section and this one the first line this first eight bytes they look same and we can see here okay we got this png also in here so we got the png also i have highlighted in it in here let's save it and let's check if you can just open the image or not Okay, I actually opened the image. Okay, and just there is a message. Just leave me alone. Here, take it what you want. And so there is a password. When the password is actually password, so let's check where you can use it. Okay, I kind of use that password in SSH, but I was not able to log in, and I also use it in FTP. Okay, it didn't work. So further. I found out that this file a.jpg also contain some data inside it. Okay, then I'm going to use stake hide to extract the file. Just use dash dash extract dash sf. Oh, so the part where we get information from the images is called stenography. If you don't know basic of sternography, if you don't know basic of sternography, just Google a little bit around the title and just get some idea about it. Okay, now let's extract the file. So it asks for passphrase, and the passphrase is password P A S S W O R D. Okay, it extracted a zip file. Okay, let's unzip it. Okay, we got two file pssw.txt and this yes, shadow. Let's get pssw.txt file. Okay, there's some sort of message, but I don't think it's our file. Let's again get the shadow. 
okay there is a text file maybe we can use it to log in the SSH okay let's first solve a few questions so what is the file name with SSH password okay actually the password was indeed used for SSH login let's log in the SSH what are the user this lengthy and IP Okay, the password is not working for this user okay we found another user also during our FTP session so if the username was slayed so let's check if it work or not okay we are logged it inside the machine clear and you okay let's get the user flag Okay, now let's escalate the privilege. Okay, for privilege escalation part, so I like to check first task the application that are running with pseudo privilege, and second one is find the files so that have SOID bits enabled. Okay, okay first let's check the one with pseudo rights. Okay, we can run this pkexec with the pseudo rights. So to escalate the privilege, okay, just deep this sudo pkexcc and bin sh it will give us a escalated cell so if you don't know you can even search in google the search for pkexcc sudo gtfo bins okay so i use this site a lot okay i'm actually a root user now so i successfully escalated the privilege okay let's get the root flag also here is our root flag okay we successfully completed this box thanks for watching the video if there are any queries Leave them in the comment section below and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel.